when we last left I was making these guys right here um, what I ended up doing was I'm um, putting a set screw in here and that ended up holding this guy just fine I ran with it for about a week and then I dropped it and that's what happened with the set screw hole so that bit of weakness threw everything off and uh, as I was running with it, it was pretty good but uh, as soon as I dropped it on a hard surface that was in the end of it so um, same thing with this guy um, it actually held out a lot better uh, the Baltic Birch um, quarter inch ply I had two set screws in there um, the one problem that I started having with this one is that every now and then you would um, end up having to retighten it because these uh, these uh, set screws run uh, work their way loose and um, I always didn't have an Allen key with me um, but this one was actually pretty good and fun to run with um, and um, it was pretty balanced uh, once I had the other set screw on there I can see if I can still do it with a uh, maybe not the issue with this guy is not only with the set screws uh, loosening up but eventually this guy gave out as well so um, channeled out three holes the size of uh, the bearings um, using the X-carve and um, put them in there like so then I made a another half to it and fits pretty well a um, little bit a little bit of play in it but I've been running with this for about three or four days and um, I'm really liking this um, very well balanced um, it uh, does a great job um, so what I decided to do is um, a triangle version of these um, this is based off of this idea right here where um, I had another plexiglass one um, my CNC job didn't finish the entire thing so I ended up only with two holes I, I did the same thing with some 5 16 inch rod and then run them in there and um, it spins pretty well but obviously not very well balanced you could feel it the torque uh, pulling on, on it pretty well um, so I uh, made a version of this um, actually this is an old version um, you can tell there was very many revisions um, I'm still new to Fusion 360 and getting the cam operations working well um, and um, there's a I guess a strategy to putting things in here but um, not they all don't fit so um, eventually I came up with a design that really worked for me um, it's the same kind of thing I'm using the um, three brass um, pegs um, with a bearing in the middle and this seems to be working out pretty well um, and I'm going to make another one of these this out of um, the same design out of the plexiglass and see if I can do one half plexi one half ply. Let's see how that works. Alright, well I'm actually pretty impressed with how well this guy uh, this guy did. Um, I could hit it with a flame see if I could clear up some of this stuff but right now I just want to see if uh, it'll fit for one of these other things here so let's put the bearing in first. It's a little snug. Probably wish it could be just a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's kind of grindy. Alright. This is the issue that I was running into with these guys here. Um, but might be able to just, oh never mind, I just needed to clean it out a little bit, I think that's all I need to do. Alright, I'm going to sand it, just get a little, I'm going to clean this out a little bit. So it looks like that's what I'm needing to do, I'm uh, just getting a metal ruler and just uh, clearing off these edges here. And uh, you can already tell, that's really all I needed, it's already getting in there. Let's clean up just a little bit more. Oh no. 
Everything needs to be opened up. All right, hang on. I'm gonna try a different tactic here. I'm gonna, uh, I have some 5 16 aluminum rod and see if I can just, let's see. Looks like it's got a little wobble in it. bad well not the best in the world obviously need to work on uh, how I do things but it's a little bit of progress I like this one. Oh, there you go that one that's better all right there's round two of these guys